Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna to take a look at an external display that's also a keyboard. This is a self-contained unit that you could plug into a computer, a, an iPad, pretty much any device that will support an external display and it will act as an external display that also supports touch and then there's the keyboard to boot. And so this comes in two different options. This is the mechanical keyboard in which you can switch out the keys for different keys. So if uh, the keys are a little too loud, you can order a set of keys and swap them all out. And then there's also a more slim design that probably would have been the better option for me considering the keys that came with this, but we're here to talk about what this is and how it works. Right now it is connected to a Mac Mini. So as you can see, uh, I've got Finder and uh, all that good stuff. I can click around. Um, this is connected as an external display right now. So off to the side is my other display. And so this acts as a secondary display. It could be a main display, a secondary display, uh, or it could be a third or fourth, depending on how many external displays your, your Mac will support. Now this also works with PC. And I did mention that it's touchscreen. So how does that work? Well, touchscreen is going to work a little bit differently on a Mac than it is a PC. On a Mac, it's going to work as a uh, just a, kind of like a trackpad. And so essentially, this is kind of like a big trackpad, and it supports single touch. But it is a little weird by default, as you see here, if I click and drag, or if I just put my finger down and drag, it acts as a click and hold. And so a click and drag, that obviously is not gonna work out for most things, but it does work a little bit different uh, when you have apps or software open. And so for example, if I was to click on something, um, I, it supports touch, I can click around and all that good stuff. And it, it works pretty well, but it does work more as a trackpad than it does a multi-touch, like you're not gonna get multi-touch when connected to a Mac. However, when you're connected to a PC, you will get multi-touch support and it will act more as a touchscreen than, uh, than on a Mac. And that's simply just because of the software. Maybe one day Apple will add uh, a full touch uh, support to the Mac, but for right now, it doesn't support it. You'll notice that the keys are uh, illuminating different colors. I can toggle through those. Um, and so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, just simple function key. And then of course you can increase, decrease the speed. The keyboard itself comes with a little pamphlet, a little manual that has all that information um, on how to switch between all those different modes and increase and decrease the speed and all that great stuff. So the connection points, this connects via USB-C uh, or USB-A. It has two USB-A's and a USB-C port on the back, as well as a couple of buttons for function and power. So the, like any display, it has some settings, brightness, contrast, stuff like that, and you can set those up. I just left them at default and I think it looks pretty good. Now connecting, if you don't have a USB-C support device, it comes with a cable that will attach to the USB-A's that you run to your computer, and then an HDMI also that connects an HDMI adapter essentially that would allow you to run this on a device that doesn't support uh, USB-C displays. And so if you have a little bit older of a computer or a computer that doesn't have uh, the more, more recent USB-C, then you're still in love this is going to work. Now, why did I decide to pick this up? Well, I, ha of course, have seen some of the laptops that come with the dual display, uh, with the display kind of on the keyboard level, and I thought, that is kind of neat. Is there a use case for me uh, with that? And so, the first thing I thought is, well, when I'm doing some day trading, some stock day trading in the morning, uh, it would be a great way to display a chart. And so that way I can see a chart and uh, still be working on other things on my display. A lot of times I, I wanna be paying attention to the charts, but I'm not in anything right now. So I just wanna see what's going on. Obviously, if I was actively trading, I would have all of my charts up and I would be watching things closely. But having an external display like this that is wider is perfect for something like that. Uh, this type of display is perfect for uh, instances where you need additional data and you don't have, uh, you don't want to have a, a big monitor. You just need a, a nice slim monitor that has a little bit of extra uh, screen real estate for you. Now, um, I also used this in a Microsoft Teams call that I had with a client and 
typically I'm looking into this camera and I don't currently have a display right over there so I can't actually see the people that I'm talking to. But with this keyboard here, I can have all of them down here and I can have my Teams call and still be connected to a really nice camera in my studio. So there's lots of ways that this keyboard with the display built in is uh, really going to be helpful for the different way uh, different ways that I'm working throughout the day. Uh, I most likely will send this one back and get one with the shorter keys. I think the shorter keys work better for me. I'm in meetings. I like a quieter keyboard and I like more of a mechanical keyboard when I'm doing some form of gaming which isn't as often as I would like it to be but uh, gaming I find that to be a little bit better. So how does this work as far as gaming goes? Well, playing a game right on this display probably isn't going to be the best option, but using this as a external display that allows you to have a little bit of information that would be off screen or that you'd have to switch between screens to get to definitely makes it uh, worth having and adds the functionality that I think um, was intended for a device like this. Now, not only can you just connect it to computers, like as I've shown you, we have Mac OS X um, or Mac OS uh, attached to this, we can attach other devices. So now I have it connected to an iPad mini. An iPad mini has USB-C and it supports external displays. Now you'll notice that when connected to an iPad, it's obviously just putting the iPad screen right here in the middle. And so I can control the iPad and I can see what is on my display. I have found that touch doesn't work too well. As I try to swipe or do something, it's like it's pinching in and holding uh, and, and it just creates an issue. And even over on my iPad, uh, it, it looks kind of weird and I have to I have to really like swipe out of it and get the screen back. And so it's not a perfect option for an external display for something like an iPad. Um, but if you were controlling the iPad and then just using this as an external display, um, perhaps you wanted to be watching something um, while connected to a smaller display right in front of you instead of the iPad. I don't know. There's many ways that you can do this. Now, it also works with something like Samsung DeX. So if I unlock my Samsung phone here and put in the cable, then Samsung DeX is uh, going to pop up and I'll be able to control. Here we go. So I'll be able to control my Samsung phone from the display and it does support touch. So if I open up something like um, a browser, so let's go into my apps and let's go over to Brave Browser and tap in the box. There we go. And we'll bring up the state of tech website. And so it, it's neat. I mean, it is maybe a little gimmicky and something that might not be useful, but if you're looking for something like this, I think its best use case is attached to a Mac or a Windows PC because you get the full width of the display. You get an external display that is very usable. It has uh, a good, decent resolution. I mean, it's not a high frame rate or anything like that, but it has a decent resolution. The keyboard works really well and uh, with interchangeable Gator on keys that you can swap out and another option for a more flatter slim style keyboard I think it's something that could be fun to have um, like I said not for every use case but I have found it extremely useful in displaying additional information that normally I would have to have either a, a whole nother monitor or have to swipe between displays to get back and forth between that information. So it's useful in that respect. And while it's not the cheapest thing out there in the world, for an external display that includes a keyboard, I think it's a good, uh, decent price. And so far, I'm enjoying it. So if you have any questions or thoughts, let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel here on State of Tech so you can be notified when I put out new videos. Until then, take care.